guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. I am so excited to be filming today's video and to show you what I got from New York. Honestly, you will not believe how much things I got. It is crazy. I'm going to be spending long on the intro because we've got a lot to get through. But one quick thing that I wanted to say before we jump into the video is that I'm going to be doing 12 Days of Christmas, guys. So from the 13th, which is just next week, I think. Let's get the calendar out. Yep, the 13th is next Tuesday, so a week today. I will be doing a video every single day all the way up until Christmas Eve. So I am super, super excited to be doing that. I'm really excited just to be kind of sharing a lot of content with you guys. Hopefully you will enjoy it too. So make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. They're all going to be festive themed videos. Well, yeah, as much festivity as you can cram into 12 days. Um, but yeah, so, oh, I'm so excited to tell you. I don't know when I should tell you, but yeah. I'm telling you now, so make sure to subscribe and now let's get into seeing the makeup, which is what you're all here for. First of all, Sephora. So, the, I went into Sephora a bunch of times whilst I was in New York because it was just right outside our hotel. And, oh, sorry, I had itchy eyebrows. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was just like right outside our hotel, then there was another one around the corner, then round the corner for that corner. They were just everywhere, so I was always in there. I'm probably not going to be able to swatch anything though in this video because I, honestly I've got far too much. So let me know down below if you want to um, see any sort of swatch videos or any specific video using the product and I'll be happy to do that for you. So this was actually my first purchase whilst I was in New York. I got it the day that we landed. This is the Tarte Works of Tarte Holiday 2016 palette. This is what it looks like. Um, it's so so nice, it's got like a clip feature there and then inside it's got all these blushes lift this little flat and these blushes here as well and I think maybe this one is the only highlight so it comes with in total 10 blushes this was meant to be $109, um, no sorry this value, the value of these products were 109 and I think I got it for like 45 49 um, of course that's without tax because tax get added on at the um, counter like when you go and pay for it but yeah I thought that this was a great value for money this is the first Tarte product I got as well and I absolutely love it so I definitely have to go and pick some more up now funnily enough going in the opposite order now this was the very very last product that I got when I knew I had some money left and um, I picked up this and I am so glad that I did this is the Kevna Kwan or Kwan Kevna Kwan I don't know how to say that I think it's Kevna Kwan contour palette now, Kevin Quinn is really expensive, but this was meant to be $55 and I got it for $45. And it looks like this inside. This is like a little section that gives you a tutorial on how to use all the products. And then if you open this up, it has like this big mirror. It has the famous sculpting powder, a highlighter, a bronzer and a blusher. Honestly, this has been one of my go-tos since I got home from New York. I have just been using this like crazy, it's the contour and bronzer that I've got on just now. Um, just to let you know, this makeup look is going to be um, one of my videos that will be coming really soon. So, yeah, it's just amazing. Honestly, if you can get this, I think it's exclusive to Sephora, but if you can get this, definitely pick it up because it is amazing. And if not, definitely get the sculpting powder. I didn't think that it'd be that big of a deal and I know a lot of people went on about it, but honestly, it is the best contour powder I have ever used. So I'm so, so happy that I picked this up. Next up, I got this little palette from Becca. This is Blushed With Light palette and it's a blush trio. Now, I'm really glad that I got this too because this is meant to be $34. And of course, all of these things, these are like holiday sets um, that's come out for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. So the, the actual value of the product is a mo lot more than what I paid for it. But this is meant to be $34 and I got it on sale for $17, which is amazing. So again, a big mirror inside and it comes with three blushes. This one is Snapdragon, this one is Songbird and this one is Wisteria, which reminds me of Wisteria Lane in um, Desperate Housewives. But they are just so, so pigmented and I think they are infused um, with like light. I know that sounds silly, but it says, 
says this beautifully versatile trio of matte and luminous blushes can be worn alone for a subtle flush of radiance or can be layered to sculpt and infuse light and dimension to every complexion. Features two of our best selling shades, Luminous Blush Snapdragon and Mineral Blush Songbird as well as a new shade Wisteria exclusive to the blushed light palette. So yes, yeah, so you get one exclusive blusher in this and again it just looks so fancy. I've only used this once or twice whilst I was in New York but I just, I just love it. I'm just so excited for all these new products. Next up I got the Too Faced Merry Christmas, it's the ultimate liquefied lipstick set. There is one missing out of here and I think it is in my plain bag somewhere but I don't know um, where it is so I'm really sorry I can't show you that one because literally down here if you if I was to turn the camera around there's just like suitcases <laughs> all of our washing is out it's a bit mental but I just really wanted to film this video for everyone so it comes with three shades chocolate honey which is the one that should be here and it's just a really nice kind of soft brown colour there's also chihuahua which is a nice pink fig and lady balls which is matte and I posted a picture on my Instagram wearing Lady Balls and I absolutely, honestly, it looks so, so nice. So this is Lady Balls, this is the matte one. This one is the liquefied in fig and this one is in Chihuahua. So it's like a really nice pale pink and this is like a purpley pink and this is like your true red. They are so, so beautiful. They last for ages as well and I had never tried any Too Faced products before getting these and I'm just so good, glad that I picked them up because Debenhams actually sells Too Faced now so I'm definitely going to go back in and get some more of the Melted Mattes I think because um, I've just fallen in love with that formula, it's amazing. I'm not entirely sure of the price of um, this set. I think it was round about $30 though, which is, oh no wait, 25 I remember now, it was $25 without tax because I picked up at, at, at the till in Sephora. I'm so excited to like put all these things into my makeup collection and just see them all looking pretty. I, I think that sounds proper sad, but I'm just, I just get so excited over makeup, obviously, because I've got a makeup channel. <laughs> Whilst I was at the Becca counter, I couldn't resist getting the Becca and Jaclyn Hill um, collaboration champagne pop highlighter I just oh I couldn't resist it like it's just so beautiful and it's just the most gorgeous champagne highlighter that's the one that I've got on today hopefully you can see probably I don't know if the lights are going to maybe pick it up but this is just mm. I never actually thought that it would be this nice but once I tried it like I've got a couple of the other Becca highlighters that I just recently got and it's just amazing, honestly. It's absolutely amazing, you need to try this. But Sephora had an unlimited supply of them, um, so it must just be like hard to find online. But yeah, this is great, I think it was just over $30. I'm so sorry if you wanted to know the exact price of things. I do have all my receipts still, but literally I've got so much stuff that it would take me ages to go through them and find them. And of course, like all these things were in, in one trip, it was like separate trips throughout the time we were there. So yeah, I'm just having a little guess at the prices from what I can remember. The last two products that I got from Sephora were Anastasia. Now, I don't, I know that a lot of people say Anastasia, but in Scotland, if someone was called that name, we would call her Anastasia. So that is why I say Anastasia, if you're wondering. You'll probably hear that a lot now that I've got some of our products. So I got the brush in number 14 and it's just got the little spoolie on the end and the little um, angled brush. And then I got Dip Brow and mine's is in the shade Medium Brown. So if you want that for reference, my hair looks a little bit darker on camera than it actually does look. And my skin looks a little bit lighter, which is a bit strange, but I think it's the lights. But I have, I would say, medium to dark brown here. So Dip Brow in Medium Brown was perfect for me. This is the one that it looks like inside. The Dip Brow was $18 and the brush was $12, I think. Around about $12. So the brush is actually really, really good as well. I am still trying to get to grips with using this. It's really hard going from powder to a pomade like this. So, yeah. Um, sometimes in tutorials my eyebrows might look a bit weird. Please bear with me on that. It is purely if I'm using this, I've probably just not got used to it yet. But I'm thinking about doing a video comparing this one to like the Freedom or Makeup Revolution Dip Brow. So yeah, let me know down below if you would like to see that and I'll definitely do a comparison for you. Not makeup related, but I had to go to Bath and Body Works 
this bag is so heavy. They had an absolute bargain of a deal. It was buy three, get three for free. So I spent like $109, but I got it for about $50 purely because I got all three of them for free. So and that was absolutely amazing. First thing that I picked up was this holiday tradition. <laughs> holiday traditions gingerbread latte and this is a fragrance mist this smells amazing it doesn't actually smell too much like ginger it's more like a really nice vanilla like a, um, a vanilla cake if you got a candle that smelled like a vanilla cake you know how it's like kind of that sweet um, bacon scent it kind of smells like that so it's really really nice this was $14 but of course obviously I got a three for free but I'm just going to spray it Mm, it's so so nice. I'm so sad that we don't have Bath and Body Works here because I would totally have went back and bought another one of these. To match this, I got the Gingerbread Latte uh, Body Lotion. It's just a gorgeous little tub and it's got like rose gold detailing on it and it smells exactly the same. This would be an amazing gift for someone so if you are looking to give somebody something nice from Bath and Body Works, if they're into that and if they're into a really nice sweet smell, I would definitely go for this. I don't know if it's limited edition for the holidays or not, but yes, I love them. I also got the Fragrance Mist in Sweet Pea. I can't actually remember what this one smells like, but I'm guessing it is sweet. But yeah, this is, again, it was $14 and they just last so long as well. Like I've, I've used the gingerbread one since I got it every day and even when I came home, Kyle's mum was asking me what perfume I had on and it wasn't even perfume, it was just the body mist, but it lasts so long and it smells so nice. So you definitely have to get yourself some of these. I also picked up the Vanilla Bean Noel Shea and Sparkle Scrub and this was $14.50. This is a massive tube. I'm going to try and show you like hopefully you can see the glitter that's in this. I don't know if you're going to be able to but like it's got lovely bits of glitter in it and it's not too thick either. It's like a really nice moisturising scrub so I'm super excited to start using that loads. I'm going to take it out of the bag now and get it into my bathroom now that I've showed everyone it. I love lemon scent so the candle that I picked up was Lemoncello and this one was $22.50. It's got like three wicks here. Oh it's so so fresh and I am just so excited to start burning this. I'll probably burn it once we get into the new year, once the Christmas season is over because right now I like to burn Christmas scents. As you can see here, this one is from Yankee Candle and it's Candy Cane Forest. Oh it smells so nice, it's just so pepperminty. I absolutely love that one. So that was everything that I got from Bath and Body Works. I also got the Lemon Body Lotion. This is our ultra moisturising lightweight lotion and part super healthy skin. This just smells absolutely amazing. This is $14. Of course it smells like lemon because it's a lemon body lotion. Um, but to describe it, I would say that it smells like Lemoncello. If you know what drink that is, it's um, the little lemon shots that you get and it's just like pure lemon. Like if you grate a lemon, that's how lemony it is. I've said lemon a lot of times now. I love it. Next up, I went to Ricky's NYC. And before I went to America, I kind of googled and checked out who held certain brands, like who stocked certain things. I was so disappointed to find that Colourpop only sold online, so that's so rubbish because I know I can buy it online, but the shipping to the UK is expensive and you get custom charges as well, so that's disappointing. But I wasn't disappointed because Ricky's held Morphe and I was so excited because I had a plan that I was going to get the 35O palette if it killed me and I did get it. This is the 35O palette. Oh, I'm so excited. This is $22. Now, this is so nice because the lady in the store, we went to a store who, that was close to our hotel, they told us, that oh we don't have the 35 palette and I was like can you check if another Ricky's has it she told she wrote down their address and she said yep this store has it so we walked all the way there to find that they also didn't have it and the lady said oh sometimes the computer system is a little bit off but um, she should have called us first so she checked with another store and she was like yeah they have about 20 of the palettes and at this point I was like about crying because I want like the one thing that I, I had to have was the 35 palette so if I went home without it, I would have been so sad. But yeah, ended up that that was too far away. So she actually drove and on her way to work, she offered, I would have got a taxi there, but she offered to drive in and pick it up and bring it into the store for me so that I could buy it. So I was so happy with that. Like that is awesome service. So I thanked her a lot. 
I'm buzzing that she's done that for me though because this is the 35 O palette here. Oh, it's so beautiful. And look how big it is. Like, did anyone think that it was this big? It's actually massive. It comes with so many nice shades. They're so, so pigmented. I'm definitely going to be doing a couple of videos on this. So watch out for that sometime in the new year. Because of course, we've got a lot of videos coming up with 12 Days of Christmas. Also had to get the 35F palette when I seen it. This is the same price, 22. This one is the Frosted palette, which is for like the winter time. Not just for the winter time, but of course you can use it whenever, but I think this is what it's aimed for. So it's got some gorgeous, gorgeous cranberry, purples, and deep like golds and bronze, which I am all about because I've got green eyes. These shades really make green eyes pop. Comes with this little slip as well, which is handy to protect the shades. So yeah, again, really, really creamy, really pigmented, and I am just so excited to use these. I am so, so happy that I was able to pick these up. <sighs> it's hard being a makeup lover because you just have so much love for your products. Honestly, hopefully you guys feel me. So up from Ricky's, I picked up two of the Gerard highlighters. Now, these were meant to be $30. These were $7.50, like that is absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe how cheap I got these for. Um, so this one is in Brid Brigitte, I think you're meant to say it. It's not just Bridget, I think it's like Brigitte. And it's like a gorgeous, sorry, I'm probably blinding you with the packaging. A really nice pinky color. I'm really sad that I can't give you swatches, but honestly, this video would just be far too long if I, if I did it. <laughs> um, this one is an Audrey, which is a really nice, like, whitey gold champagne. And I really love the packaging as well. Again, these are the first Gerard Cosmetic products that I've got, so I'm so excited to use them. When I swatched them in the, sh uh, in the shop, they seemed really, really pigmented, so I'm very excited for that. I also got the Violet Voss Pro Highlighting Powder. Again, this was a good deal. It's meant to be $25 and I got it for $12.50, which is absolute bargain once again. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's just cardboard. It's got a really nice mirror here and a little slip of paper to protect your colours. And then you've got your three highlighters. So you've got like a pinkyish one, a bronzy, goldy one and a whitey one. So as you can see, I'm all about the highlighters. I've picked up quite a lot and uh, I just I just love everything I'm just so excited I'm so grateful that I got to go to New York because that was honestly one of my dream places to go so I'm so glad that we were able to go I'm really grateful for that in my life next I picked up the Shan XO palette from BH Cosmetics and um, this one was $22 I know that the um, palettes like the Carly Bible and the Shanix O and all the other ones are usually on sale on the BH Cosmetics website but I didn't mind paying 22 for it because at the end of the day I wasn't paying shipping and I wasn't paying customs and that's something that I would have had to pay if it had have been sent to me in the UK. So this colour, this side sorry, is nine shades of lipstick. You've probably all seen this before but I thought I would just show you anyway. And this side is nine shades of eyeshadow. So they all look like that. I've not actually used this yet, I don't think. Have I used this? No, I think this was one of the ones that I didn't use. Obviously, I got so much stuff. Oh, it's not obvious, but let me tell you, I did. So it was quite hard to use everything whilst I was away in New York, but definitely going to be using everything now that we're home. So yep, yeah, I got this one. Next bag of stuff, I picked up the BH Cosmetics 10 colour blush palette. So it looks like this. This one was $12 which is a great price. I should, hindsight, I should have actually picked up more BH Cosmetics things, but <laughs> to be honest, I hardly was able to fit any of this stuff in my case, so I'm glad that I didn't go over the top. These are the colours here. As you can see, there's so many. There's like your nice peachy colours, bright pinks, more toned down pinks. There's like burgundies, baby pinks, peaches, browns, like even that could be like these two here, this one and this one could be good contour colours. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this palette and for such a good price, considering that you get 10 blushers for $12, that is just over $1 each for the blushers. So that is just crazy. Next thing I got was the Carly Bible palette. Again, you've probably all seen this before, but it's 14 eyeshadows and highlighters palette comes with the big mirror here and then this is all the shades it's just like your really nice neutral everyday glam palette because you can really kind of 
use these for an everyday look or you can kind of build them up to be a little bit more dramatic for an evening look. So I have used these and I'm very impressed. They're really, really beautiful. The highlighters are great. So I'm really glad that I got this too. Can't remember exactly how much it was, but I think it was probably around about the $22 mark as well for that one. I got two Ellie Girl Flat Finish Pigment Glosses, and these are the matte ones. I think these were $6 each. So I got this one here. This is in the shade Fleur. Yeah, this one is in Fleur, and this one is in Backstage. So this is just like your nice nudie peach, and this is a nice deep burgundy plum. I actually used this one and I was quite disappointed because it went on quite patchy on the lips. So I've not used the peachy one yet but I will let you know how I get on with that anyway. Just in case you've got access to Ellie Girl and you'd like to find out how these apply. And then finally from Ricky's I picked up one of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. This is in Zurich. Zurich? Don't know how to say that but it's like a nice browny colour. Um, this is, yeah, it's a matte formula. I've not tried it yet but I've heard good things about it. Okay, so next I want to talk about e.l.f. This is the shopping bag. Like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is like a bag that you'd put your lunch in. You know how it's like got the white surface on the inside? I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but I was very, very excited for this. Forgive me if I don't know the prices of these things. They've not really stuck in my head that well. Um, but I do know that my total come to like $27 for all these things. So the first thing I got was the HD powder. This is in the shade Sheer. It is just a white powder, but it is translucent when you put it on your face. I've had this before when Elf used to ship to the UK and it's absolutely amazing. I love it, so I'm so glad that I picked another one of those up. I got two brushes. This is the small tapered brush and this one is the flawless concealer brush. Now, both of these were $3 each. The concealer brush I have been using to highlight with and the, full, the small tapered brush I've been using to set my under eyes and like set my forehead or my nose like just with a little bit of powder. So that is the uses that I've been using for these. You will see these in an upcoming tutorials, no doubt. I also got this illuminating palette. I think this is six dollars. The packaging is like smooth and matte and sleek and the shades inside a huge big mirror and then these are the four shades so you've got like a nice bronzy colour, a pinky one, a whitey one and more of like a toppy highlight so that is them, they are, they are quite powdery because I have used them already quite powdery but they are nice, they give a good glow I also got the Corrective Concealer Erase and Conceal palette and I think this was four dollars it's black packaging again but it's more shiny and inside it's got a little mirror there and it comes with a brush in these four colours. So you've got yellow, blue, green and pink, like kind of pinky salmon colour. So I'm really excited to try these out. Um, I would probably be using the green and the salmon anyway. Green to cover up redness, which I've got a lot of at the moment sadly. And the salmon colour to hide under eye dark circles. So yes, very excited to try this. The last thing I got was the e.l.f. matte blush duo and this is in the shade... I wonder if it's in the shade Soft and Subtle. It says Soft and Subtle here. I don't know if that's like the kind of make or if it is the shade. But I'll show you this. The reason I got this was because I thought it would be like a nice contour shade. This is what it looks like. So I thought that that would be a nice contour and then obviously maybe just like some sort of blush or to sharpen the contour. I don't know if you could see where I'm coming from with it. Hopefully this will work. If not, I won't go a mess because I could use it as like a bronzer or some sort of dark blusher in the summer. But yeah, I got that one. I can't remember how much that was though. But I mean, e.l.f. isn't too dear at all. Now because I spent over $25, the lady gave me this free bag worth the makeup. Like, it's all free. Every single product was free. So I was like, oh, thank you so much. She was like, yeah, no problem. It wasn't even Black Friday, but yeah. This, so again, this bag is so nice. Um, inside, I got all of these things for free. So the first thing is the bronzing brush. Looks like this. It's like at an angle, which would be good to contour as well. I also got the moisturising lipstick in In The Nude. And this is amazing. I wore that when I was there. I took like a couple of Snapchats with it on. I don't know if I posted on my Instagram, but it is so nice, it's so creamy and it smells amazing as well. And it lasted for ages. I also got this Lash Extending Mascara in black. This liquid eyeliner in 
Coffee Cafe. A bronzer in the shade Glow and a baked trio eyeshadow in the shade Brown Bonanza. So that is absolutely amazing. They almost gave you a full face of makeup minus foundation and blusher or highlighter. Like literally they gave you like a full face of makeup for free and a makeup bag. I actually can't believe it. Like all of that stuff must have come to $20 or something. So that is just so generous and kind of Elf to do that. And I was absolutely buzzing to get it. <laughs> buzzing is such a Scottish word I think. But honestly I was so happy when she gave me it for free. So yeah, that is all the things that I got from Elf. The next shop I went into was Macy's and I got quite a lot, I've done a little bit of damage in Macy's. So let me start with Anastasia products. I finally got my hands on the Modern Renaissance palette. I was so excited to get this. This is again one of the things that I really really wanted whilst I was there. It's a lot chunkier than I thought it was going to be. And this is what it looks like. You've probably all seen it but it's got the big mirror. Oh I just dropped the brush. And it's just got these all these gorgeous gorgeous shades. I have used it already and I am in love with it. Like honestly these are the first Anastasia products that I got were in New York and I am so addicted and so in love. I need to get on Cult Beauty and Beauty Bay just to get some more stuff. I also got the Glow Kit in Sweets. This is what it looks like. I was actually surprised at how big these were. I didn't think from you know like all I've seen of them is on Instagram or on other people's YouTube videos and they're actually massive. So this is a whitey gold, more of a yellow gold, more of an orangey pink and this is like a pinky purple colour. They are so beautiful. This was $40 and I think it's well worth the money. I think I'll definitely order the other ones of, of Cult Beauty when I've got a little bit more cash after Christmas. The next thing that I got were these Naughty Kisses and Sweet Cheeks sets from Too Faced. Now it's three blushers and three lip injection glosses. These were I think around about $40 for these. So yeah, I'm not going to take them all out because it's a bugger to get them all back in. But um, it's just like a bright pink, a peachy kind of pink and a like purpley colour. So they're really, really pretty. And they, these colours kind of go well with the highlighters from Anastasia. So I'm so excited for these. However, the only thing is, I didn't actually realise that they were lip injection lip glosses. So I thought it was just like a lip gloss and I put it on one day in New York and I was like, oh my lips and they were just like getting bigger and bigger and they just felt really tingly and I don't know how I felt about it so I might have to give the lip glosses away yeah because I've got kind of I've not got small lips I've not got big lips but I just have uh, decent sized lips as it is so I don't know how I felt about them just getting bigger and bigger oh yeah here's a little one here that I used when I was um when I was in New York and I don't even know what shade these are in oh this one's like a boss I felt like a boss honestly with my lips they were massive Next up I got the Bare Minerals Your Kiss is on my list and this is an 8 piece mini nude set. This says it's an $80 value and I got it for $35 which is incredible. If you followed me on my Rome vlog you'll know that I really loved the Bare Minerals lipstick set that I got from there so I was so excited. Kyle actually seen this one and said to me so he was the one who is to blame for me spending this $35. I couldn't say no when I found it so yeah I'm really really excited. These are amazing. I've used one already and it's just the most beautiful nude. I love Bare Minerals lipsticks. The last few bits that I picked up from Macy's are from Urban Decay. So the first one I got was the Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm. I was matched for this shade with my skin tone so I'm super excited to start using this. Um, these are actually dearer than what I would have got them in the UK but the lady was so nice who was helping me out and like I had such a bad situation with my foundation before I went in which you'll see in the vlog when I put that up um, but yeah she really helped me out she was so lovely that I just felt like I really wanted to get the stuff that she used so I bought this one and then I bought the Urban Decay All Nighter Liquid Foundation in the shade number 3 oh my god I am so glad that I bought this this is what I'm wearing just now and it is the best foundation I have ever used in my whole life. I am completely converted. This is amazing and I'm never ever going to go back to a normal foundation. As long as they make this one, I am going to be getting this one because I just it just gives you the best coverage ever and I don't even have to conceal. It's just amazing. I also picked up the Vice Lipstick Palette and I really wanted these when they came out but I could only find the other one in my Debenhams that does Urban Decay back at home and um, it was the one with like the green lip colour in it. Uh, 
Um, I didn't want, well, I, I wanted that one too, but I would. I chose this one over that one, but I could never find this one. This is the blackmail one, and this is what it looks like. So it opens up and it's got a huge big mirror here, and it says on it here, lipstick is my vice. You lift it up and it's got all of these shades and it comes with a little brush as well. I've not tried this yet, but I am so excited to give this a little go. It looks so good. And it's got this shade here, which is 1993. And that is on my wish list from Santa. So fingers crossed, if Santa was listening, I got 1993 and it's wrapped up under the tree for me to open on Christmas. But I'm so excited that it's in this palette as well. It's just like the most beautiful brown shade ever. So yeah, I think this was maybe like $40, but I didn't care what price it was because like I say, I couldn't find this one anywhere in the UK. I could only find one with the green, which is also really nice this one a little bit more and I got two little samples from the lady as well so I got naked skin one and done um, it's like a BB cream this is it here and then I got the perversion bigger blacker badder mascara in here so I got those for free at the airport when I was coming home I picked up these Real Techniques brushes on the plane this is the core collection and I am totally in love with these two brushes here it's the buffer and the contour I've been using the buffing brush to bronze and the contour brush to obviously contour and honestly they are just absolutely amazing the last things that I want to show you are from Debenhams now I I know that these aren't from America but I did intend on buying these products in America however when I was there obviously Debenhams had Black Friday deals as well and they were cheaper just to buy them in Debenhams and get them delivered for me coming home so I'm still going to show you them because they're still related in some way or another first thing I got was the Benefit Girl O'Clock Rock 12 day advent calendar I'm so excited to get this um, this is limited edition I think you can only get it in Debenhams in the UK suggested retail value is 68.46 but I got it for 34 pound 50 which is a bargain and it sings to you when you open it So yeah that happens it's got 12 products in it and i'm going to start do i'm going to start doing it the 12 days before christmas instead of like the 12 days leading up like from the first of december i just think that that works for me better so i'm going to be doing a little unboxing of this every day on the 12 days of christmas starting from the 13th on my snapchat which is kirsten beauty and I'm going to be opening the advent calendar and using the product in a little video on my snapchat so if you would like to come and join me on that make sure to add me it's just Kirsten Beauty. I also got the BAMS Manizer Sisters I think this is about £20 but it's just cardboard packaging and when you open it up it's got a nice mirror here and then it's got your three highlighters you've got Mary Lou, Cindy Lou and Betty Lou I was so excited to try these because everybody loves Mary Lou so honestly I'm so so excited to try these and maybe I'd like to try and find some dupes of highlighters and I also got the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics I've wanted this for ages as well and I've just never picked it up I looked at it in New York and I was so tempted just to get it but it was way more expensive than it was in the UK so this is the packaging here absolutely gorgeous and then inside it's got a massive mirror like look how big that mirror is and then it's got all these gorgeous shades and a little brush as well so I'll definitely be doing a couple of looks using this palette too the last two things of this massive haul I'm so sorry for keeping you for so long if you've made it this far well done but honestly I had so much to get through the first one was the Kat Von D shade and light palette Oh, I was so excited to get this because I really, really wanted to get it so that I could compare it. Well, first of all, I just wanted to get it anyway, but then Makeup Revolution came out with a light and shade palette, so I was super excited to compare the two. Now, this one is really thick and chunky. I didn't think it'd be that big. It's got a huge big mirror here, and then it's got all the shades. So, yeah, I'm just so excited to use this. I've swatched them all, and they're so super creamy and pigmented. And this was on sale. All of these things were on sale for the Black Friday sale. The last Kat Von D item, and the last item of this whole haul, is this Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. This is just a really, really gorgeous pinky brownie nude shade 
I wore it the other day, I literally felt like I had nothing on my lips. It didn't budge when I was eating, when I was drinking, and it was just so moisturising. So yeah, I loved it. Yeah, that was everything that I got. I'm so, so sorry that this video was super, super long. Literally spent so much money that it's taken me ages to show you all these things because there's so much right now. But I am so excited to get them into my makeup collection and start using them all. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a little comment down below. Let me know what your favourite product was from the haul and what you would like to see in my next couple of makeup tutorials. Be sure to subscribe as well and um, yeah, make sure you turn on the notifications so you know when I'm posting my 12 days of Christmas. Definitely come back for that, that would really make me happy if you did. And come and follow me on my Snapchat and Twitter and Instagram as well which is all just Kirsten Beauty. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday for the first day of 12 days of Christmas. Bye!